A warm welcome by her Chinese counterpart Li Keqiang. High-level exchanges as well as government cabinets holding talks. This is what intergovernmental consultations are all about. Meeting every two years to lay down more pragmatic projects. This time, Merck and Li witnessed the signing ceremony of 24 cooperation projects or MOUs. Collaborating on innovation, scientific development, environmental protection, education programs, as well as energy sectors were all included. More than any other European country, Germany has benefited from the rapid expansion of the Chinese economy over the past decade. Germany is China's biggest trading partner and technology exporter in Europe. China is Germany's second largest trading partner outside the European Union after the United States. We agree to deepen cooperation in trade, and investment and finance sectors in order to shape a new engine of economic growth between the two countries, or in other words, transform and upgrade the old traditional engine of growth. We will both strive to foster a more friendly environment for economic exchanges, expand bilateral investment and cross-border RMB transactions. We will also deepen cooperation in the manufacturing sector. In regards to China's market status, Merkel said, We have talked about Article 15 regarding China's EU market economy status. On behalf of the German side, I want to say that we remember our earlier promise. That promise still stands today. Germany is always open to investment from Chinese enterprises. On Sunday, Merkel visited the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences and was confirmed upon the doctorate degree by Nanjing University. Merkel spoke highly of the sound development of ties with China. China and German intergovernmental consultation serves as an important platform in promoting bilateral relations. Besides the high-level talks, hard work has been going on in the background between Chinese and German ministries and companies. An expert called it the secret to the successful Sino-German relations. Wang Longxuan, CCTV, Beijing.